Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series on your favorite channel technical portal. This is your host Pritam and don't worry I will give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook as usual into my description box. So please check it out, download it and practice for further improvement of your Excel skills. So without further ado, let's continue our today's video tutorial. So basically this is the part 2 of our previous video where I have showed you how to extract the multiple match into separate rows with the help of index and match function and nested rows and row function into that video. If you didn't watch that video, I'll highly recommend you to watch that video at first then watch this video. So guys to extract multiple matches to separate cells in separate columns not in the rows we can use an array formula based on index and small function. I am going to share and describe each and every arguments I am using into this formula. So let's begin. So as this formula is quite complex so I need to insert the ranges many times so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the named ranges to simplify my formula so at first I need to name that range of group so I'm selecting the range from group at B5 to B11 after selecting the group range just click here and type any name you want to assign your group range I'm simply assigning the name as groups right then hit the enter button to name it then I am selecting the named ranges also that is from C5 to C11 after selecting the name range total name range click here and type the name ranges whatever name you want to assign I'm simply typing names for this group right hit the enter button to name it and where you can find or change this named ranges data just simply go to the formulas tab here from here in the defined names tab go to name manager so here it is the recently created or you have created previously any of the name ranges will be shown here right so close this pop-up begin creating our formula so at first we are going to use the if error function equals to if error note carefully this is an array function and this is quite complex formula so watch my steps carefully inside the if error function we need to use the index formula as the array we want here the names type na or names you will get the pop-up menu here showing the name ranges name right so highlight that range and press the tab button to automatically fill it insert a comma now here we need to use the small function type small as an array we need to at first use the if function here don't worry if you have some questions I am going to describe each and every functions and arguments using into this formula now as the logical test we need to use the groups ranges type groups here you can find the groups name ranges showing into the pop-up hit the tab button now use the equation symbol and what we are searching for to be equals with this group we are searching this red we have assigned the group name as so select this cell now what you need to do is press the F4 key thrice to lock your column number carefully not the rows you need to lock the column number only now here insert a comma insert the row function inside the row function use the names range close the parentheses now here insert a minus symbol now use the minimum function that is m i n inside the minimum function we need to use the row function again and what we provide as reference obviously the names reference right then close the parentheses twice 
and come to the if function type plus one close the parenthesis again now insert a comma now come to the small functions second argument that is k we are going to provide the columns function here so use the columns function not the column function highlight it press the tab button to autofill it and as the array we need to give our and lock our cell references carefully this is the most crucial part of this formula so as this one is the starting cell number of this formula what the cell number of it is e and 5 right so at first log the cell number of the first cell of your formula type dollar e dollar 5 colon now Again, we need to type this cell number, but we do not need to lock it at now. So type E5. That's all. Close the parenthesis twice. Now our formula is almost completed. Insert a comma. Now here we need to provide the value if error. We have come through the if error function right now. So what we want to show when the formula gets an error. We simply want to show nothing when the formula gets any error. How to do it? Just insert the double quote, open double quote and close it. That's all. This is called an empty string. Now close the parenthesis and now as this is an array function, you need to hit the enter key by holding control and shift key. That's all. Now if you copy the formula from upside down by dragging it and then from left to right, it will show you the results automatically and just in a second. If this database is so much small, you can do it manually but whenever you have database thousands of thousands names and you need to assign the group to the name this might be confusing and so much time taking so this can be useful whenever you want to do so now let me clear your confusions and let me check and let me show you how this formula actually works so the gist of this formula is this we are using the small function here to generate a row number corresponding to an nth match once we have the row number we simply pass it to the index function which returns the value at that row the trick is that small is working with an array but is dynamically constructed by the if function we have provided here this snippet tests the named range groups for the value in e5 we have provided as on if found it returns a row number from an array of relative row numbers created the final result is an array that contains numbers where there is a match and false where is not this array goes into the small function then we have used the k argument as an expanding range when the formula copied at the result table the range expands causing k to increment the small function returns each matching row number which is supplied to the index function as row number with the named ranges we have provided as names as the array after all thing the formula comes to the part of if error function then if the formula gets any error or any matches not found then it simply provide a value of error then we have provided the if function as whenever it finds any error it will show nothing as the empty string so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video please share your opinions as well as your queries in the comment section i'll come back soon with another interesting video like this till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing